And our next speaker is the beloved Bruno Franzeres, who is uh, holding you, a bachelor in industrial and electrical engineering and a master and PhD in operations research from uh, PUC Rio. Uh, he's going okay. to be an adjunct. Yeah, hello. Can you hear me? Or... Okay. Uh, all right, so, so um, he's uh, currently an adjunct professor at the Industrial Engineering Department of PUC Rio, and his main area of research is decision-making under uncertainty with application to energy systems. For Bruno also, I will be playing his video. So I now know what to do about the sound. Hopefully you can now see my uh, the, the video on my screen and the share computer sound is already activated. So let me know if you have problems. Bruno, Otherwise, I'll uh, this work. Uh, the idea of this work is to design an efficient procedure to find uh, national equilibrium in pool-based electricity cell market. Uh, it's a joint work with Lishan Street and David Poulsen. Right, so the, the idea of this electricity, pool-based electricity market is uh, we have a set of uh, N generation companies competing, competing in this market uh, by submitting a pairwise linked block of price and points to offers. And uh, well, the market operator clears the market by using some, uh, some procedure and reporting back both the uniform clearing price and uh, the amount due to each participant, the dispatch of each uh, participant. And so the objective of this work is to study a competitive equilibrium, more particular, the Nash equilibrium in this uh, market setting. And uh, for expository purpose, what we assume was uh, that, uh, well, Firstly, all Jenkos, all competitors offer their true marginal costs. So the competition will be on quantities, the type of kernel competition. And also that the set of feasible quantity offers of each player is this uh, bounded set of the integers. Right, so the outline of this talk is divided in this four uh, topics. Uh, I will begin by presenting the market clearing problem. Uh, then I will present uh, the net revenue, how we can construct the net revenue of each, each channel and discuss uh, a, a Nash equilibrium, the, the, the idea of Nash equilibrium in this context. Then uh, I will uh, present the, the procedure that we uh, are proposing to identify an actual equilibrium point and show some uh, numeric experiments, computational numeric experiments. Right, so beginning with the market clearing problem, uh, we have here a set of uh, N generation companies. And uh, this is the market uh, formulation that we assume basically a uh, single node uh, market. Uh, with an inelastic demand in a single period setting. Uh, more specifically, we have here that uh, it's a cost minimization procedure uh, with a balance constraint, which give us uh, the market price, the literacy market price as dual, this variable pi. And uh, the second set of constraints is where the competition happens uh, in which uh, the amount cleared by each competitor is bounded by uh, the quantity offered into the market. Right, so uh, in this problem, we are particularly interested in uh, two variables. Uh, a primal variable, the amount cleared by each competitor, the, the, the dispatch of each, of each generation company, and the electricity price, it resumes to the, uh, the dual variable. So uh, for presentation purposes, uh, let this set M of Q represent the optimal uh, solution of this market clearing problem for a given uh, 
vector or for a given set of quantity offers, one for each uh, market participant. Right, so uh, in general, uh, what we observed, what we're observing in, in, in market is that, well, most economic or all economic agents uh, is aiming to achieve high level of profits. So uh, to compute the profit or the net revenue in this context, uh, we make use of this, uh, this expression here, which basically resumes uh, uh, as the difference between the electricity price and the cost to generate uh, electricity times the amount dispatched. And of course, these variables must be optimal in the uh, set of uh, market uh, 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 solutions. Right. So the idea of Nash equilibrium is quite simple in this context because it basically is uh, a set of offers QE in which the net revenue at this point is greater than the net revenue of all possible offers of generation J if the, its competitors offer the equilibrium. So the idea is that uh, the, a, a single competitor cannot improve its profit or its net revenue by unilaterally deviating from the equilibrium. And of course, it must be, this expression must be valid for, for all market participants, since it's an equilibrium, general equilibrium. Right, so uh, how we can compute this point? Uh, usually, what uh, technical literature says about this, uh, this problem is, well, it's a good idea to embed this uh, sufficient constraint a sufficient condition into uh, an optimization framework. Uh, in, this, in this work, what we uh, assumed is, well, we have here the constraint that ensures the Nash equilibrium. So a solution of this problem uh, is in fact a Nash equilibrium because of this sufficient condition and it's feasible. And uh, since it's just a uh, uh, a, a condition, a, a, a feasibility condition, uh, we can assume uh, 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 an objective function in which we uh, drive uh, the Nash, uh, the equilibrium that we want to find in this work. Uh, we assume to maximize, or we decided to maximize uh, the joint not net revenue of each uh, player into the market. Of course, uh, another objective function can be uh, chosen. Uh, in this work, we assume this objective function here. Right, so uh, recalling that uh, the net revenue is, is, com is composed by this expression here, uh, we can uh, replace this, uh, this sufficient condition by the particular instance that we are studying in this work and uh, leading to this optimization problem in the in, in blue the left hand side we have the net revenue of uh, at equilibrium and in the right hand side we have uh, the net revenue of a given uh, uh, given uh, uh, an offer of generation company or market participants j right so at this point uh, a few comments worth highlighting. Firstly, uh, it was not clear how to solve this problem uh, since uh, this set of optimal solutions is not uh, computable. So uh, following technical literature, we can replace the set of optimal solutions by uh, a set of, uh, we can uh, rewritten this set as a mixed integer linear set, basically by uh, using KKT optimality conditions and disjunctive inequalities. 
leading to uh, a, a mixed integer binary uh, linear set. And uh, it's important to highlight that uh, each set here have, has a, a, a number of binary variables in the order of uh, two times uh, the number of players. Right, so if we uh, extend or uh, if we see more closely, look more closely into this, uh, to this problem, what we have here is, uh, well, first, the set of uh, auction variable problem variables, optimal variables, is a binary set. So, and we have that this set must be, must be written for each feasible offer of each player. So uh, a key takeaway here is that, well, this problem scales really fast to a very large, uh, large scale mixed integer linear programming problem. So uh, making it really difficult to be solved uh, for even uh, medium scale uh, instances. So here is the motivation of this, uh, this work uh, in which we uh, aim at designing an efficient procedure to solve this problem, this large scale mixed integer linear programming problem based on column constraint uh, generation algorithm, based on a column constraint generation algorithm. Right, so uh, what was the idea of this problem, uh, of this procedure? Uh, firstly, uh, let's assume or let us, uh, let us just pick a small subset of feasible offers. Instead of considering everyone, all the feasible offers, let's pick a small subset. Uh, since, it's, uh, since it's a feasible uh, uh, offer, the optimal solution of this problem is a feasible offer. Uh, it's easy to see that it's a candidate. It's not actually the Nash equilibrium because we're not assuming all the, the feasible offers, but it's feasible uh, into, the, into the complete set of feasible offers by this constraint. So uh, we have here a candidate for Nash equilibrium. So this, this problem here, which we, uh, called, um, that's the master problem, uh, identifies a feasible offer candidate for being a Nash equilibrium. Right, so um, by identifying this candidate, uh, we need to check actually if this candidate is indeed a Nash equilibrium. So we, uh, we design an oracle uh, to see, to tell if this point, this equilibrium, this candidate point is indeed the Nash equilibrium. And the oracle, uh, the idea of the oracle is basically uh, to identify the best response of each market participant uh, with respect to the candidate uh, point of its rivals, of its competitors. And if at this best response, the net revenue is lower than uh, the net revenue at this candidate point, then no generation company or no market participant has incentive to change its offer, thus configuring a Nash equilibrium point. Right, so what we, of the idea of this common constraint generation algorithm is basically run a master problem to identify a feasible uh, offer candidate for being Nash equilibrium and run an oracle to check if this candidate uh, problem is in fact uh, a Nash equilibrium or not. Uh, all problems here, both master and the Oracle problem are computable, are based on uh, mixed integer linear programming formulation and uh, therefore computable in small scale. Right, so uh, to conclude, uh, we run a few computational experiments to uh, compare this procedure with the full milk problem. And uh, uh, we use off-the-shelf commercial solvers to run or to solve this 
full enumerated uh, milk problem. And uh, well, the idea of this numerical experiment was basically to increase the market size and see how both uh, procedures uh, works in a computational sense, let's say. Right, so uh, the main result of this work is this point in which uh, we identify that up to 25 players, or let's say up to, for instance, uh, 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 25 players, a small scale system, both procedures are quite similar in computational, in the computational time sense. Uh, but if, as we increase the market size, we see that the, the, the full enumerated cannot be solved. Uh, we find that for 30 players, the full enumerated can be solved, but at a high co computational cost. And for larger, for a larger set of players, uh, it could not be solved, but the column constraint, the procedure based uh, that we propose could handle efficiently uh, all the instances that uh, we run in this work. And uh, we also analyze the worst four instances uh, for each market size. And uh, what we observed is that even for this kind of small scale uh, size, small scale market, uh, the full enumerator takes roughly four times, uh, four times uh, slower than uh, the proposed column constraint method. And uh, if we increase to 30, uh, it reaches to 30 times slower than uh, the proposed method. Right, so uh, with this, uh, I conclude this talk. Thank you. Uh, great. Thank you, Bruno. And the floor is yours for questions. Yeah, I can check the Q&A uh, too. Ju just a quick uh, clar clarifying. Oh, there we have it. First one. Uh, Alexander Street, could you clarify how many constraints does the model select? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, and that's the, let's say, the beauty of the method. Uh, what we found is that the number of constraints or the number of offers that compose the sufficient set to identify the Nash equilibrium was really small, uh, roughly 5% or less than that uh, of the full uh, set of feasible offers. So that's one of the reasons that we think that the method could uh, run really fast and have a computational uh, cost, uh, as a low, uh, small computational cost. No, just a quick clarifying question on my side. Is it correct that you're assuming a finite set of actions from the agents or did I misunderstand that? Yes, we assume, uh, actually there is no need for that. Uh, we assume just for presentation purposes because well, we need to present something that it was uh, just to, to present the idea. And uh, yes, we are assuming a finite, but uh, continuous as well work. Uh, we are working on this now, and uh, we see that there's some good results on this for the continuous uh, set of offers or strategies. Great, thank you. 